It's okay. It says live now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Good afternoon. This is Lisa Price, and you are. God willing, live with me in my kitchen. I have had a host of uh, issues today. So I am hoping that the fact that I'm seeing live in red means that I am transmitting correctly. Thank you so much for joining me for a commencement address for the class of 2020. The reason that I wanted to do this is to provide encouragement to this class who might feel that they are being cheated of an experience. And in a lot of ways you are, but as a person who has faced many challenges in my life, who probably should not be the person that I am today, if you judged where I was going strictly on what my past was, what my education was, you probably wouldn't put me where I am today. And I'm saying all of that to say to you that even though this is something that is difficult and unfair and something not of your making, it does not define you. It will not stop you. And more than likely, will help you in ways you have yet to discover. I think many years from now, people are going to look back and what you'll hear is, oh my goodness, you were part of the class of 2020. Wow, what was that like? What was that experience like? And through sharing your experience, you will help other people when they're dealing with difficulties. And as you reflect on that experience in your lifetime, it will help you as well. I also wanted to be able to honor the parents because there's a lot of this that is all about the student, absolutely, um, but there is a lot that is about the parents. And right now, parents have so much on their plates. They are, if they're lucky, working from home. There are a lot of parents who are not working right now, and, and this is very hard for them. Parents are juggling being at home and helping you with your schoolwork at home and all of a sudden becoming teachers. And being a teacher is a calling. That is not something that every person can do. That is not something that, that you just bring forth in yourself. So those parents who've had to you know, step up to that plate and become teachers and juggle either working from home or being furloughed or being an essential worker and working outside of the home, but still managing that schoolwork. This is for you as well, encouragement for you and um, to honor you and to congratulate you because this commencement, whether it's happening today, whether it's happening in a week, in a month, depending on when the school term ends, is a celebration for the parents. I also wanted to take time to honor the teachers. My daughter, Becca, should be stepping up from eighth grade to high school and having a ceremony, and they will have something with her school that will be virtual, but it won't be what she thought it was going to be. She won't be going to her first junior prom. Um, and she's worked very hard to be able to be where she is today, as have a lot of the young women in her school. And they don't get that moment to shine. Um, but they have been making it and making their grades, making their assignments, getting their tests done because they have dedicated teachers. And I know the teachers at the Young Women's Leadership School are not the only dedicated teachers out there. So I also want to say bravo to all of the teachers. And then specifically for the class of 2020, 
when I was thinking about doing this, I thought about what I heard at my high school graduation because I actually did not graduate from college. So what I heard at my high school graduation, I heard from Eartha Kitt. And Eartha Kitt, for those of you who don't know, is an actress and a dancer, and she's an amazing woman. Please Google her. Um, and she, at the time, was known to me as the original Catwoman. There was a television series called Batman many decades ago, and Eartha Kitt was Catwoman. So when she appeared at our graduation to speak to us, for most of us in the class, we were excited that Catwoman was there, not this amazing, groundbreaking African-American actress, activist, etc. And she spoke to us about remembering the power that we have, remembering that the world is not necessarily going to be fair to us, that it is not going to hand us what it is that we wish to do simply because we wish to do it, that we were going to have to work for things, um, but also not allow what the world says to us to define us or to limit us because the power was ultimately ours. And those were words that when I heard them that day, they meant a lot to me, but they resonated so much more later in my life. And that's what I wanted to be for you today. I wanted to be those words that would resonate with you today, but that you would keep with you later in life. I was also listening to um, some students. Uh, there was a call that took place last week and I was listening to some students talk about how they were disappointed at some of the changes that have gone on because they feel that what they work so hard for is not going to be recognized. And it made me think of students that work really hard to be valedictorian, who work really hard to make it onto the honor roll, who work really hard to, to get those acknowledgements and then not get them. And what I wanted to say to anyone who's feeling that way is that I think the lesson in all of this is, does it make you any less great when your greatness is only witnessed by you? And the answer is no. You have worked hard. You have achieved a lot. You will go on to achieve much, much more. And because everyone won't be there in the same way to celebrate that achievement and that acknowledgement, it doesn't make it any less real. It is still there. You have still put in the work. You have still given to your future karma. You have still given to your future. And I believe, honestly, that you will be stronger because of it. So I applaud you. I congratulate you. I, from my kitchen in Brooklyn where I built an entire company. I am telling you that you can do anything that you want to do. You have the power, you have the knowledge, you have the capability, social distancing aside, coronavirus aside, and this blip in your life will be the anomaly. It will be that thing that happened that God willing won't ever happen again. And know that as you're going through this process and you're going through your, your graduation and moving on to either high school or to university or out into the world, that you are doing something that no one else has ever done before. So give yourself grace as you move through life. And I also thank you so much for allowing me these few minutes to spend with you. I hope I didn't keep you too long. And thank you for coming into my kitchen. And congratulations, class of 2020. My littles stepping up into first grade, my middle schoolers, high school and college. I salute you. Thank you.
Have a great day.